like the Coach Hackett's offense so far. We've heard a lot about mm -hmm. outside zone run and throwing it deep and those sort of things. Mm -hmm. What have you just liked about it so far? Everything you just said. Uh, outside run, throwing it deep, but everything plays off each other. Um, there's no tails in our plays. We have, I guess you would say, five routes that all look the same, and so you can never just key in on one route. So um, the defense has to play us on, especially corners. Yesterday we, we saw Pat make a heck of a play on Neil's first play, I guess mm -hmm. Russ's first pick. Mm -hmm. uh, was that just a hell of a play by him, or what, what happened on that? Uh, it was, of course, it was a hell of a play by him, but there's other things that play a part of it, but it was a good play by Pat. Javante said last week uh, that this offense is a little more complicated for him as a running back. Mm -hmm. Is that how I hear for skill positions? Everybody is complicated. Yeah. And yeah. why is that? Can you kind of describe why it is? You, you said there's like five routes that you can run at any one time. Mm -hmm. Does that help make it complicated? Uh, it's just something different that we haven't done yet. And then you got to think we have Russ and we have Hackett. Uh, they put in both of their systems together. So it's kind of a one of one of offense. So it's not something that really been taught before. How much, how much does having Russ help his, his presence with everything, learning? Um, when you see somebody carry themselves the right way every day, it makes you up your game. Um, not to slack and to put winning first at the end of the day. Um, we're, we're all here to win the Super Bowl. And if our quarterbacks do it, nobody else has an excuse not to do it. Yeah, a couple hundred yards from a thousand yard season in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. Is that something that's in your mind, or do you have any statistical goals like that going forward? Uh, I don't have statist statistical goals. Um, of course, I want to get a thousand yards. Uh, I've been close, um, but for what I, uh, I'm given on the field, I feel like I'm doing uh, above and beyond. And like I said, I just want to win. So whatever they need me to do, I'm gonna do it. Nathaniel Hackett is a pretty positive guy, it seems like. But what is he like with you guys if and when he's disappointed in something in the season? Um, he's not what you think he is. He's he comes at you like a man, honestly. Just uh, he lets you know this is this is how we want it and do it this way. And like anybody else, if you mess up twice, they're going to be frustrated because in this league, it's it's okay to mess up one time, but to mess up the same thing twice, it's not okay. How do you like that approach? Uh, I'm I'm fine with any approach. I've I've had a lot of coaches. And uh, they all been different, and I just learned how to adapt to them. You've had a lot of coaches, but what's it like having a head coach that's maybe leading the trash talk against the defense or going at K Jack? Uh, it's fun. It's fun because I'm a trash talker. So when when I see him doing it, it gives me the energy to do it, um, and uh, it just shows that he has your back out there. One of the things, one of the things about uh, Coach Jack when he got hired that he talked about was sort of his his love of technology. Mm -hmm. The other day, what are some of the other ways, if any, that you've seen him kind of incorporate different ways of teaching visually in the future mm -hmm. classroom? Um, are we allowed to talk about that? Yeah, probably not. But it's cool. It's something I've never had before. I've never done that before either. It's just it's just like a test. It's just a testing game. Uh, it'll throw out a formation. It'll throw out a play but it'll give you three different answers and you just have to pick the right answer. And it's all about who answers it the fastest. Do you all do it in the receiver room, just line it? Uh, no, everybody does it. We do it as a team sometimes, then we do it as individuals. Did you feel that extra game last year, that extra week in the season, 17? Mm, nah, I missed the game, though, so it doesn't really count. But no, I didn't. Towards the end of the season, everybody's going to hurt. So you're just pushing through. How have you and Cortland kind of shared, taking on the leadership responsibilities and like as a tandem and sharing them? Uh, we're still learning. We're still learning. Uh, when you got somebody like Rush, you don't, you really don't really have to lead because he's just a big presence and he carries himself the right way. Um, and if you don't follow his way of the way he does, well, I don't say if you don't follow his way, but like if you see Russ doing it and you're not doing it, if you can't put in extra work, you're not serious about winning and you don't belong on this team. What about within the room though? Within the room? Um, we're all learning at the same. We just do it, try to lead in uh, the way we do it on the field, but everybody makes mistakes. So until until I get a little bit more comfortable with the playbook, I'm not really telling people what to do. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. You mentioned the extra work. We saw you guys out after practice. Russ has talked about extra film sessions. How much has that, that extra 
Um, it's it's an everyday thing. I got to go to a meeting right after this, so we got to hurry this up. But uh, it's a uh, it helps because like like you guys know the the offense is difficult, and it's just the regular routine practice is not going to be enough for us to get it down packed. So we have to do things on our own so we could get it because we don't want to be one of those teams to make excuses, new coach, new quarterback, new offense, and we don't get going to the end of the year. We want, we want to come out the gate firing on all cylinders because this, this, this is Super Bowl bus bust this year. So you have team meetings and then meetings with Russ? Everyone? Team meetings with Russ, team meetings with each other, meetings, meetings, meetings. There's a lot, trust so, me. So what do you think the five weeks between when training camp starts and training camp starts is going to look like because of all this new extra stuff? Uh, it's going to be cleaner, um, more detail right now. We're just out there running the plays. And uh, we just need to hone in on the little things, but you can't do that if we don't even know the plays yet. So we're just out there running the plays right now. But the more we meet, the more we're with each other, the more we're meeting and talking. How, what he likes, what we like, it just hones in the whole offense and we run it to perfection. Tim, Travis Fulton was the guy who got here last December. Say it again. Travis Fulton was the guy who got here last December. Uh-huh. Uh, I remember Travis when he uh, hopped out on the scene and he was having like those 200-yard games, 100-yard games, and I was like, dang, who's this guy? And then when we got him, I was like, okay, bet, another weapon. Um, he's just cool, calm, and collective. You don't really see the, his true personality on the field, but he's always under control and he plays very smooth and you never know what he's doing. He's, a, he's just a very smooth receiver where he makes everything look effortless.